All right then gang, so I just wanna take a quick sidestep now and address some of the design flaws when it comes to these two forms, the register form and the signing form, because apart from looking pretty cruddy, they also don't give me much information as to what I should type into these two different form fields. So on the register form field, I don't know that this should be an email and this a password, nothing's telling me that. So I'm gonna address those issues in this video and just make this look a bit nicer. So we're on the register form at the minute and that's what I have open here in VS Code. And I need to go down to this text form field first of all, which is the top one. And to make these form fields look a bit better and also add some hint text, we need to use a decoration property. Now the value of this should be input decoration like so. And inside an input decoration, we can specify some different things to A, make these look better and B, give them some hint text, okay? So then, first of all, the hint text. Well, let's do that first. I'm gonna say hint text is gonna be equal to email, like so. And now if I save this, then we should see email right here and we know to type in an email. As soon as I start typing, it goes away, but if I delete again, then it comes back. So we know now that this is an email field. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is say the fill color should be colors dot white. Now we're saying that the fill color of the form field itself should have a color of white, so the background, but if I save it at the minute, we're not gonna get that fill color. And that's because we also need another property called filled and set that equal to true to say we do want this to be filled. So if I save it now, we should see the background color is now white. So the next thing I'd like to do is address the borders. So first of all, I'm gonna say enabled border. And this means that any form field which is enabled, then I want to give it this particular border. And to do this, we say outline input border. So we're making the outline border of this input field look better here. So inside here, what we're gonna do is say that the border side property should be equal to border side. And then inside we can say the color is gonna be colors dot white. So the border should be white and the width of the border should be two pixels, right? So all I'm doing here is saying any enabled field, if this field is enabled, should have this border and the color should be white and the width of the border should be two pixels. So that's pretty simple. So if I save it, we can see that if I come away over here, then the border is two pixels around this over here, okay? You can see how it's got a bit bigger, that's the border. Now, what I'm also gonna do is say, I want a focus border. So when I click on a form field, I want it to also have a border because at the minute, notice when I click inside it, that border goes away. So this is only applying to the form field when it's not in focus. So what I want to do is copy this and paste it down below and change this from enabled border to focused border. And then this time the color is going to be pink and the width is still gonna be two pixels. So if I save this now, then when something's in focus, it just gets a pink border instead, okay? So that's looking pretty good now. That's all we really need to do. So that's just one form field with this decoration now. Now what we could do is we could grab this decoration and we could copy it and we could just paste it in each different text form field. So down here, but also in the signing widget in the different form fields here. So four times in total, and then even more times in the future if we have other form fields elsewhere in the app. Now, that's not really the best way to do it because then if we change the style, we have to go around and change it four, five, or six times instead of just once. So it would be better if we could define this thing over here, this whole input decoration from here down to here, if we could define that as a constant somewhere, and then we could use that constant as the decoration whenever we need it. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to now cut this from here, and I'm gonna create a new folder inside the lib folder. And this folder is gonna be called shared. So any kind of shared code is gonna go inside this folder. And I'm gonna right click and create a new file and call this constants 
Dart. So this file is going to be for any constants, anything that's going to be used in different sections that doesn't really change. Now the first thing I need to do is import material. So let me say import material like so. And then down here I'm going to create a new constant and I'm going to call it text input decoration. And I'm going to set it equal to this thing I just copied and scoot this way back over here like so. Um, instead of this being a comma at the end, I'm going to use a semicolon instead. Okay, so now we can just use this constant in the different form fields. So let me copy this now, and I'm going to save the file. Then I'll go back to register, and this time I'm going to paste this in, text input decoration, and comma. Now at the minute it's erroring because we've not imported this constant file, so let's do that at the top. I'm going to now say import and we want to go into the shared folder and then we want constants dot dart. OK, so now this should no longer error down here. There we go. And if I save this and even if I refresh over here, now it looks exactly the same. So oops, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. OK, so it looks fine over here. So now all I need to do is use this line whenever we want that kind of input decoration. So I'm going to come down here and paste that in again and save it. And now we can see this one has the same styling. And if I go to the other one to sign in and go to this one, paste it in and also to the one above it and paste it in. And again, we need to import that file constants. So import and it's in the shared folder and then it's constants.dart. If I save this, we can now go to the other screen and we can see we have the same styling as well. Now the only problem is, is that the hint text is the same in every single form field. And that's because in the constants file, we can see that the hint text is defined here. Now the way we get around this is first of all, by deleting this because we don't want that to be hard coded and constant for every time we use this text input decoration constants. Instead, we want to specify that individually every time we use it. Now we can do that by using a method called copy with. So I could say, for example, on this one, dot copy with, and then pass through a property, which is going to be text hint, and then the value for this. And then I can pass through the property that we want to specify for this. And that's going to be the hint text and set it to be whatever I want it to be for this particular form field. So in this case, it will be email. But down here, if I copy that in the next one, it's going to be password. So I can change that to password. And now what it's going to do is use this constant and it's going to copy it with this property as well. So it's going to add that property to this thing over here. OK, so let's save this and let's also save this file. And now if we go to the register screen, we can see email and password. I'm going to do the same thing with this file. So let's go down to the text input decoration and paste that in. The top one is email and this one should be password. So let's change that to password and save. And let's go to sign in. And everything now is looking a bit better. OK, so there we go. Now these two different screens look pretty good. And also we know what to type into each input field. In the next video, what I'd like to do is create some kind of loading widget, because at the minute, if we sign in or register, then it takes just a second or two for it to go to the next screen. And we don't know that anything's happening. So for example, I'll do this, Sean at the, in fact, I can't log in with that. It's Mario at the net ninja .co and then the password was test one, two, three, four. If I sign in, it's just going to take a second or two to go to the home screen. So sign in. And I want to be showing a loading widget right now while it does all that stuff in the background until we get to the home screen. And we'll take a look at how to do that in the next video.